Hello students, now we are going to look at the question uh, that I asked in the quiz about uh, this man in the middle attack on public uh, key cryptography. Okay, so let's say there are two uh, users, sender and re receiver S and R. So uh, sender S sends its public key uh, S uh, to R. So what happens is a Mallory, a bad person, captures the uh, public key on the way. So now Mallory has the public key of S. Now what Mallory does is sends the sends her own public key. So public key M to receiver. Now, as I told in class, using IP spoofing, we can make the receiver R to believe that the message came from S, the sender. So what the receiver R has now is the public key of M, not the public key of S. All right. So now S sends this uh, encrypted uh, message. So it encrypts the message M with the public key of the receiver and the whole thing is further encrypted with the private key of the sender. Now this is what uh, this is one of the two ways we uh, I gave you the thing right so uh, now when this is sent Mallory can capture this message as it is now Mallory knows the public key of S right so Mallory can decrypt this outer level using the public key of S and get the inner one okay so now our Mallory cannot decrypt this further because Mallory does not know the private key of the receiver right so the actual message is not revealed yet to Mallory Mallory could subject this to some cryptanalytic attacks and then figure out what is the message M but as it is Mallory cannot figure out what is the uh, message M Right, so this provides you the confidentiality. Mallory cannot still find out what is message M. However, Mallory can come up with her own message M prime, encrypt that to the public key of the receiver, which should be known to Mallory, and further encrypt that to the private key of Mallory, which is known to Mallory. So now you see the message is changed from M to M prime. Okay, and let's see what happens. So Mallory sends now this to receiver R. Now the receiver decrypts this using what the public key of m but the receiver thinks this was encrypted with the public key of s and it is decrypting with the public key of s sorry it was encrypted with the private key of s and it is decrypting that with the public key of s that's what the receiver thinks but actually it is encrypted with the private key of m and it is decrypting the public key of m right so it is decrypting this and further decrypting this with its own private key and getting M prime. Okay, as we discussed in class again, or what you experienced in your project, if this was encrypted with the private key of S and uh, this is trying to decrypt with the public key of M, it won't match and what you will get is uh, garbage. So you have to use the right key and the right key has been used. It was encrypted with the private key of Mallory and the receiver uses the public key of Mallory to decrypt. Right? So the receiver thinks a message came from S and it is using the keys for S. It's not really. Right? So this shows that what? The message, uh, there's no uh, authentication that the message did come from the original sender. All right? Also, you see, you see that receiver uh, actually receives M prime while it has while it is supposed to receive M. So there's no integrity. Okay. So the receiver thinks a message came from the sender, but it is actually using the keys of Mallory. So that's why there's no authentication. Similarly, the receiver actually gets M prime instead of M. So there is no uh, integrity. All right. Now, on the other hand. Uh, the other thing that we that I gave you in the quiz, what was that? Let me look at the. Just take this as it is, or take this. Probably. Yes, to one little thing. So this was encrypted with the public key of the receiver. Encrypted the private key of the sender. 
Now if you look at this, it, the message is encrypted with the private key of the sender and further encrypted with the public key of the receiver. Now when you send this, nobody except the receiver can even do the outer level decryption, right? So they cannot get to the inside part. So this provides you confidentiality. Now once the receiver gets it, it decrypts with the private key of its own, private key of the receiver and gets the inner one and it has to use the right public key. So it is encrypted with the private key of the sender. So it has to be decrypted with the public key of the sender to get a meaningful extracted message. If you use the wrong public key or if it was signed by someone else, right? If say Mallory or someone was has uh, sent them as has done this encryption, right? If Mallory did this encryption uh, with her private key and the receiver decrypts with the public key of the sender, the original sender, the two keys don't match, right? So uh, only if the message was encrypted with the private key of the sender when the receiver decrypts this with the public key of the sender there is a match between the two keys right so Mallory, uh, the receiver is able to extract a meaningful message so which means the message was signed by the sender so that provides authentication so let me repeat uh, let me just get over this Okay, so the receiver first decrypts with its private key and extracts this portion, right? So to get the actual message, it has to decrypt with its public with the with the public key of the sender. Now, only if this message was signed or encrypted to the private key of the sender, when the receiver applies the public key of the sender to decrypt this. Uh, thing there will be a um, correspondence between the two keys if you use if this was encrypted with some private key of some other user other than the sender and the receiver is trying to decrypt the public key of the sender the two keys won't work together right and you will get a garbage so that's why this is an authentication that the message did come from or it was signed or sent by the sender so it's an authentication all right and since only the receiver could decrypt this and nobody else would have uh, got the message okay it provides confidentiality and then for integrity uh, again nobody else except the original sender could do this in a level encryption because only that person knows its private key and you're decrypting using the corresponding uh, public key of that sender right so if somebody else had sent uh, m prime they would have to use their private key as i said right if mallory wanted to send m prime she would have to use her private key and that private key won't work with this public key of the sender right so that provides you again integrity all right